Yeah, so to glorify God in dark times, you have to have a real understanding of God's sovereignty and His providence. Um, the old hymn that we sing, you know, God moves in mysterious ways, uh, His wonders to perform. That's something that every Christian during some season of life is going to have really pressed upon them. And then we have to make a decision. Uh, will we kick against it? Uh, will we begin to make accusations uh, against the goodness of God? Or will we bow in submission to Him, realizing that nothing has come to us that hasn't uh, passed through His hands, that He has not allowed, um, that He is indeed working all things for our good? And so to glorify God in, in difficult, hard providences, uh, we have to be submissive and just know that uh, the Lord is good. Um, he never deals with us in any other way but in goodness. And in our, our finite minds, sometimes we have a hard time defining what true goodness is. Um, but you know, one of the one of the areas that we grow the most as Christians is through difficulty, through trial, through suffering, through those dark times. And what an opportunity they afford us to glorify God when we when we live in light of what the scripture tells us concerning his providence.